Welcome to Slutty Activism, the podcast that teaches you to fight fascism with your genitals. Really, you can become the change you want to see in the world by becoming an extraordinary lover. No experience necessary. I'm your host, certified sex coach and professional sexual revolutionary, Sarah Martin. Let's get started. Hello, friend. On this bonus mini season of the Slutty Activism Podcast, we've explored the theme of uncommon pleasure and heard from five extraordinary guest experts. If you haven't listened to all five episodes yet, I encourage you to check them out. We've also been going deeper into opening up new pathways to pleasure in the five day pleasure diary challenge. You can join this challenge at any time in the Slutty Activism Podcast Community Facebook group by clicking on the Guides section. You can join today by going to sluttyactivism.group. Before bidding you adieu until Season 2, I have a surprise for you. Today, I'm welcoming friend of the podcast, Ruin Willow, to share a steamy excerpt from her decadent erotica anthology. Audio erotica is a powerful form of fantasy fuel. If you've never tried it before, I invite you to get curious about whether audio erotica might provide you with a new pathway to pleasure. And if you start listening and it's not your cup of tea, that's okay too. As Ruin tells this story, I invite you to allow every word to slide softly, like velvet, into your eardrums and vibrate into your brain. She punctuates this reading with giggles, sighs, and moans to create an atmosphere of truly debauched delight. Listening can be extremely sensuous, and the story itself is raunchy and hot. Ruin Willow is an erotic author and the creator of the Oh Fuck Yeah podcast, where she seamlessly blends readings of her erotic writing with interviews with sexuality and pleasure experts. If you enjoy this excerpt, you can listen to many more for free on the Oh Fuck Yeah podcast, available wherever fine podcasts are found. I've also included a link in the show notes. So that's enough from me. I'm going to pass the mic to Ruin now. Hello, this is Ruin Willow, erotica author, and I am sharing an excerpt from my anthology, Decadent Erotica, an anthology, 10 Tales of Extreme Sensuality, Indulgence, Dominance, and Submission. I am an erotica author, sexuality, and erotica podcaster at Oh, Fuck Yeah! with Ruin Willow Podcast, available on podcast apps for free. And I also am an audiobook narrator, not safe for workbooks, of course, (laughs) and I'm also a sex blogger. So this excerpt that I'm going to read for you is Mallory and Derek attend their first sex party. It's an orgy, baby. Mm, Fuck yes. (laughs) This story actually originated as one I narrated right off the top of my head as I was recording a podcast episode for my Oh, Fuck Yeah! with Ruin Willow podcast I think of this as erotic improvisation, where I create a story right off the top of my head. So I took this story that I created off the top of my head, and I fleshed it out into a fuller story. And this is what it became. Watching the faces of the people blossom into orgasm after orgasm is driving her desire to join to fire alarm status. She needs to get in there. What do you think, Derek? Is this still a go for you? Derek meets her gaze, and his eyes melt. He does a single nod. I'm nervous, but I want to do it. Sam takes a step forward and turns to face them. This is exactly what I like to see. You two are checking in with each other. Communication is key. A dedication to each other's comfort and pleasure is also key. I think you two will fit right in and be a great addition to our group. Sam draws in a long breath and releases it as if savoring something. You don't owe anyone explanations, nor are you obligated to finish any act you start. You should feel comfortable just leaving a person or group whenever you don't like something 
or aren't comfortable. This is a safe place. We want you to feel totally safe here. So move on or leave the room or even the party if you ever feel the need to. And the hand signal for you are done with what you are doing and moving on is your arm raised up like you are asking a question with your index finger pointed at the ceiling. We all know that signal means you are moving on. No need to give a reason, okay? They both nod at Sam. Good, says Sam. The validation from Sam is like a hug to Mallory. Being called a good girl usually tweaks her clit and thickens her satisfaction. It's not that she's a wimpy approval seeker or needs that kind of validation to be okay. It's just delicious to hear. Do you need more time? Or shall we enter this pile of sex? Mallory squeezes Derek's forearm before she turns to fully face him. I'm ready to do this if you are, but I'm also ready to walk out if you are. But if we do that, we are fucking the second that car door closes, she says with a chuckle laced throughout her last words. He grins. Oh, I get it. And I'm in too, Mal. Derek's shoulders relax, and his face clears of nervousness. Well, mostly. Let's go fuck and get fucked. Sam grabs Derek's hand and Maria grabs Mallory's. Derek reaches for Mallory's hand and the four stride together as a human chain towards the orgy. The people in the orgy are on a large round piece of beige furniture, which is like an island. It looks like an ottoman, only supersized, like someone gave it steroids. Mallory has never seen such a large ottoman before and is amazed at how perfect it is for an orgy. It's like a large circular padded stage in the middle of the large living room. Sam and Maria start to strip. Mallory and Derek follow suit, smiles on their faces. They are so ready for this sex party. It's just a big old pile of naked people and an orgy of no end. There's so much moaning and groaning, lip smacks and skin smacks all around. It's like being immersed in a dream. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Maria faces them, but both Mallory and Derek's eyes drift down her body. She smiles. Okay, to orient you, there are bottles of lube strewn about and sex toys of all different sizes, shapes, and colors. All will be thoroughly cleaned before every party, as the welcome email stated. Use what you need and want. This is your sexual playground. Maria points to a colorful pile of dildos and sex toys on the edge of the ottoman nearest them. Mallory dies right in without hesitation and stands at the edge of the ottoman. Derek watches in amazement because she's instantly a part of the scene. A man grabs her and kisses her. He fondles her breasts. Derek watches in awe of how she just assimilates in so easily, so naturally. He's proud of her. Sam puts his arm around Derek, who is shorter than he is by more than a head. Take your time, Derek. This is on your timeline and only your timeline. Derek desperately wants to be with Sam sexually. He glances down at Sam's massive erection, but feels too shy to ask him to join him in a sexual act. Mallory continues to deeply kiss the man who pulled her into the horde. She looks so happy and excited. Derek loves to see her like this. No matter how it happens, he loves to see Mallory have pleasure. He knows they are committed to each other, and he's just never felt threatened by other people because he and Mallory are so strong together. Derek watches as the man's hands are traveling down her body onto her curvy hips, where he then walks his fingers to the back of her and grips both of her butt cheeks. He gives her flesh a hearty squeeze, lifting her slightly off the floor. Oh! <laughs> she squeals and runs her hands along his biceps, meanders her hands over his nipples and down his tummy. And then she gropes her way back up to his hair to play with it. They kiss more, maxing out the foreplay. Derek loves doing all these same things with her, so he smiles, loving that she's getting the touches she desires. Mallory glances back, and Derek is just watching with a happy smirk on his face. She's very pleased and so happy she found such a wonderful man in Derek. Derek makes eye contact with Sam, with what feels like way too much trepidation, because honestly, he's ready to try this. Do I just ask someone, or do I just lay myself in the group and let someone take me? 
Maria joins Mallory and the man, and Mallory's eyes beam with bliss. Mallory's smile blossoms with happy, salacious lust at the addition of Maria to their tryst. Derek is dying to ask Sam to be that someone for him, that Maria and the man are being for Mallory, but he's so scared to ask. Sam smiles very deeply as if he knows. Would you like to have a partner as you join the Horde? If so, I'm definitely the man to gently usher you into this ecstasy you are watching. His grin is lascivious and hungry, but confident. He reminds Derek of a wolf, an alpha, a bull, which likely he is. Derek simply nods with the sort of awestruck look on his face. Sam drapes his arm around Derek's shoulder. Derek's eyes fall once again to Sam's very large, erect cock, which is out and stiff in all its magnificent glory. He really has a stunning cock. Derek's not been able to keep his eyes off Sam's raging boner for long, ever since Sam undressed. The man is a Greek statue. Sam gently guides Derek to an open spot that just appeared on the ottoman. He pushes Derek to sit, which brings Sam's hard shaft right in front of Derek. It bobs seductively in front of Derek as Sam moves slightly. He's hypnotized by the beauty of it, so near to his eyes. He cautiously reaches for Sam's cock, then glances up to make eye contact with Sam. Sam nods his approval. Keep your eyes on mine, Derek. It's a command, but Derek willingly complies because this is exactly what Derek wants. Mallory's statement from earlier today flits across his brain. If you see a cock you want, suck it. He opens his mouth and leans towards Sam's hard dick and takes it into his mouth. The feel of his cockhead filling Derek's mouth is exactly what he's been longing for, but the sigh Sam gives as Derek begins to suck him and takes his member deeper into his mouth is to die for. Derek's so turned on, his own dick couldn't get any harder than it already is. The sounds he's bringing Sam to make with his blowjob alone are almost making him come. He doesn't touch his own dick as he sucks Sam's because he doesn't want to come yet. There's way too much to do before that should happen. After a few minutes of enjoying blowing Sam, which Derek could keep doing for about an hour or so, Sam tugs on Derek's arm, signaling that he should rise. Sam pulls Derek close and whispers, That was very delicious and very hot. You give a very excellent blow job, but now I'd like to fuck your ass. Derek's cock twitches, then he nods. He's realizing he's under the spell of Sam's sexy, dominant demeanor, and it's exactly what he's been desiring for years. Sam kisses Derek, and the kiss sends fireworks off in Derek. Derek has always thought that analogy was stupid and unrealistic, but Sam is disproving that because Derek feels explosions firing off inside him. Derek's cock tip is pressed to Sam's cock, and as they move, their two cocks rub together. It's so fucking delicious that Derek fears he's going to come too fast, and the fun will be over. He thinks of unpleasant things to stave off the climax— like cleaning a toilet, picking up dog poop to get his brain off this sexy, irresistible man. Sam pulls out of the kiss and grabs Derek's shoulders to turn him around. Sam presses his body to Derek's and caresses his hands all down his torso before stroking Derek's cock. <sighs> Derek lets out a groan that sounds louder to him than the whole mass of fucking bodies in front of him. He's watching all of this going on in front of him, but it's like he and Sam are in their own microcosm. Sam bends Derek over, and that act alone charges up Derek's lust to peak heights. Sam reaches to the side of Derek for lube and pays a dollop at Derek's anus. Derek tips his ass upwards for Sam, presenting it to him. He and Mallory had been practicing anal stuff with toys, so he's ready for this. He even let her peg him for the first time the other day to get him ready for the party. Plus, he had wanted his first anal sex to be with Mallory. His heart is pounding so hard, his panting is so rampant, he feels as if he will explode. As Sam presses a finger into Derek's ass, Derek gasps. His body, mind, and soul are ready to accept the best cock he will likely ever have in his entire life. Sam pulls his finger out of Derek's asshole and leans in. He rubs his cock all over Derek's ass cheeks and spanks his ass with his hard shaft. <sighs> Derek whimpers. Oh, please, he says in a soft, pleading voice. 
Please, Sam, do it. Sam grins deeply and presses his cockhead gently into Derek's anus. Both men groan. The satisfaction is unmistakable in their sounds. This is heaven to them both. <sighs> Sam begins to increase his thrusting and proceeds to fuck Derek as he's never been fucked before in his entire life, at least by cock. Derek loves how aggressively Sam slams into him from behind. The skin-smack sounds alone turn Derek on even more. He bounces forward from the thrust, grunting with each one. Uh. Uh, uh. But in keeping his hands on the furniture to stabilize himself, he's not able to stroke his own cock. His cock swings with each pounding of his ass that Sam delivers. Derek's orgasm is looming fast. He's helpless, as he can't stop the rise, not even slow it. Derek spews his cum, despite his dismay to do this early on in the orgy. He feels shame at coming already. Plus, he's sure it has landed on the ottoman. He worries about that slightly. But then he almost chuckles. This is likely not the first time cum has landed on this monstrosity covered in upholstery. He's being ridiculous. His panting is out of control. His heart is beating so ferociously, he doesn't remember ever coming that hard in his entire life. The spasms keep going, and so does Sam. Sam's not done with his ass. As Derek recovers a bit from his massive orgasm, his cock thickens as he watches Mallory getting fucked from behind by a man while her tits are being sucked from beneath her body by Maria. It's a lovely and delicious sight he won't likely ever forget, and he's very happy about that. As Sam continues to slam into his ass like a machine, Derek's body is gyrating in the air as a woman slides beneath him from the side. She's a very cute and petite redhead who looks about his and Mallory's age. She smiles at Derek and reaches up to caress his cheek. He smiles and nuzzles his face into her touch. She presents her pert little nipples to his mouth. Suck! She says in a commanding tone which also implies a bit of a question. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to head over to sluttyactivism.com and learn how you can get started changing the world with pleasure. Also, make sure to follow the show so that you get notified when I drop a new episode. And if you want to connect with other like-minded people, come join us in Certainty for Overthinkers, the Slutty Activism Podcast Community Facebook group. Hope to see you there.